Hi, kumusta po? Kumusta po kayong lahat? Nako. Welcome to our first first actually special episode which is the round table conversations. Um this is not actually the regular over a glass or two that you always see every what two to three times in a week. So ngayon po is my god it, it's really an honor kasi who had never ever even um imagine in my wildest dream that that the I was um <laughs> invited by you know the one of the icons of um of the Filipino uh, Philippine industry so, oh my god idol ko to since I was younger so since today um this is we will be launching the round table conversations and I hope you guys will watch and marami kayong matututunan so ha huh, kinakabahan ako pa since ano <laughs> Okay, I would like to introduce to you um, a very uh, paano ba to? Paano ko siya i-describe? He's a person that I considered um, an inspiration. He's also a person that I considered um, my mentor. He's um, a dearest friend of mine that is so close to my heart and close to over a glass or two. Guys, hindi na po. Inako, kilalang kilalang niyo to. Hindi na ako magpapaligoy-ligoy pa. Please welcome, Mr. Boy Abunda. <laughs> Thank oh you. my God, kinakapahan ako sobra. Salamat ito, Boy. Really, I'm sweating. I'm sweating, Jesse. Magandang uh, umaga, gabi, araw sa ating mga kababayan, sa ating mga kaibigan. Maraming salamat for joining us today. And I'm sweating, Jesse, because uh, I'm having the house fixed. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just wanted to share this with you. Kasi kanina, mga kaibigan, before we started, this is something that's new to Jesse. Yes. Uh, lumaki ng lumaki na po ang palabas na ugat. At nagkaroon na po tayo ng... Uh, the last time we had the show, we were advising Megan. We were giving pieces of advice <laughs> to Megan. Yes. Ito naman po ay subok ni, J, uh, ni Jesse at ni Jay Cass nga. Uh, na, uh, susubukan namin gumawa ng um, conversations. So... Um, I understand, sabi nga ni Jesse kanina, she's a bit nervous. But why is it important that we do conversations, Jesse? Because, ako gusto ko lamang, bago natin tawagin ang ating uh, uh, special guest, it is important that we do conversations. Kasi, doon ang gagaling yung ating mga opinion, ang gagaling ang ating mga pananaw sa buhay. And we don't always have to agree with each other. We don't. Yes, that's so true. You know, Jesse, uh, mm -hmm. you see red, I see black, I, I mm -hmm. see white, you see orange. But we, you and I have both the right to cohabit this world. We can argue, we can debate, we can disagree with civility. Ang dami-dami yes. natin natututunan dahil magkakaiba tayo ng pananaw, magkakaiba tayo ng damit, magkakaiba tayo ng kulay ng buhok. Uh, but it doesn't stop us from being together, from wishing for a better world, and from even working hard to have a better world. Okay? Yun lamang ang aking latag. <laughs> oh my God, kinakabahan ako kasi Tito Boy, um, so, uh, everybody knows me, like especially my good friends mm -hmm. na, I'm sure yung mga nanonood din sa Overglass or two, that I'm very opinionated. Yeah. Uh, the, one of the reason why, of course, I'm, I'm, kinakabahan talaga, I'm so nervous, it's because of course, uh, come on, uh, I'm having a, a conversation with, my God, Mr. Boy Abunda, di ba? Parang, wow, the Asia's, you know, king of talk. Second is, huh, I'm sure we, we since our, our guest is, you know, a very known a philanthropist in the U.S. Okay. So, we natin yung politics. And the reason why I'm scared to talk about, there's only two things that I really hate discussing, is a, even if, like, a regular table talk conversations during uh, parties, there's two things, which is politics and religion. But for today, my God, I have to talk about this. Because you know why? Because this is, for me, Na, ito yung parang importante na na inevitable in, 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 na uh, presidency na kailangan lahat bumoto kasi <sighs> paano ba? Ang dami-daming for so many years na, na 20, 21 years na ako dito sa Amerika parang ito yung first time na nakita ng buong mundo na nagkaroon ng katian Nagkaroon ng dilaw, naggulong, nagkaroon ng pula. Na sobrang nagkaroon ng, lahat ng tao nagkaroon ng opinion. Na 
dumating yung point na whenever sometimes we talk about, discuss about politics, na we tend to argue. Kaya gustong gusto ko marinig ngayon ang opinion ng siyempre na pinakasikat na philanthropist ng Amerika. Especially, of course, your point of view. Okay, I just wanted to add also that um, hindi naman normal. I think the right word is understandable na bahagi ng ating kultura, hindi talaga pinag-uusapan ng politika at saka ang relihiyon. Yes. Idadagdag ko pa, sex at saka pera. Uh, tinuruan oh, yes. tayo that these are taboo subjects. We're not supposed yes. to talk about them uh, while dining with family. But may mga bagay na nababago, may mga bagay na nababasag, may mga bagay mm-hmm. na kinakailangan natin gawin no matter how difficult they are because they lead us to better decisions, more yes. enlightened decisions. Ako, uh, gustong gusto ko, Jesse, pag halimbawa ang kausap ko, iba yung pananaw sa akin because I always say, where is she coming from? Where mm-hmm. is he coming from? Why does he think the way he does? Bakit iba kami ng pananaw? At doon ako nag, uh, nag, uh, nag-iisip, di ba? At doon ko nararating yung uh, mga opinion, mga decision yes, ko na. Yes, exactly. Okay. This is the right standard. Well, we're talking about a very yes, special guest. Yes. Yes. This is a very, mm-hmm. very special conversation. Dahil um, we are proud uh, mm-hmm. to have her as our first guest on Roundtable Conversations. And inevitably, sabi mo nga, we cannot not talk about politics and many mm-hmm. other stuff. Um, she's one of the most successful Filipinos in America. and But I'm, I want to describe her simply as a great woman and a great friend. She's really a great friend and a great woman. And we are proud to introduce to you the one and the only, Miss Loida Nicolas Lewis. Lewis. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, wait, no, wala? Oh, my God, okay. no, wala si Miss Loida. Teka, teka. No, wala. I know, I know. Pasensya na po kayo kasi ganito talaga ang live. No? This is what I love, I love about ano, live. You don't know kasi what's gonna happen during live. You don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Dito po kayo din ba? Like every time na... Oh yeah, it happens. Yeah. Ah. Even on television. May mga panahon, bigla na lang nawawala ang audio, nawawala ang sound. Minsan, hindi do, hindi pa dumadating ang host o ang guest. I, so, I, uh, can... so ano, anong ginagawa? What do you usually do if that happens? Like this. So, you know, you share with Quantuhan. your colleagues. <laughs> no, I mean, you make them experience what you're going through. Uh, mm. ho, just before we started the show, kasama na namin si Miss Loida, nagkataon lamang we're having technical problems, you have I to know. bring your audience to where you are. So that's <laughs> exactly. Right. exactly. Uh, I, I think that the, the trick here is not to pretend that everything is okay when everything is not. Not diba? okay. Yun lang naman ang expect Pilar Mateo again is there. And, oh, uh, hi, Ate Pilar. Nali Amante, thank you. I mean, oh. she was the first one to, you know, register a comment. Thank you. Oh, my God, uh, yes. I am na. 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 Loida is coming back. There, there. you go, Miss Loida. Miss Loida Nicolás Lewis, okay, welcome. It's round table conversations. Miss Loida. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, Miss Loida, we can hear you. Loud and clear. Boy. Welcome to Roundtable Conversations, Miss Loida. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. we can hear yes. you now. Yes. We can hear Thank you. you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Loida, this is Boy, and I'm coming from the Philippines. Thank you for doing this, and I'm so happy to see you. Yes, and Miss Loida, I'm Jesse. Jesse Ding. Magkapit bahay lang tayo. I'm from Jersey City, so a few minutes away from your home in. I believe in Manhattan, New York, right? Yeah, but right York. now you're in uh, Hamptons, right? At the Hamptons. I, I'm I'm here in Hamptons. Oh, na puputol putol si Miss Loida. She's having problems with the audio. Yeah. I know we're having problem with the audio. Miss Loida, take a pin up a second. Just bear with us, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We will be. Make you freeze. Oh my God. Oh, oh. I miss Lloyd Alamo. You know, it's the best thing to do is if earlier in the browse, you freeze, were. No? You, yes, if you were browsing oh earlier. God, it's freezing. Oh, oh, Paki. Can you miss Lloyd Alamo? Yeah, we can hear okay, you. Okay, so let me just say good evening, good evening, Dr. Boyabunda. And thank you, thank, thank you. you, Jesse. I just You're hope about- you can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you, but Miss Lloyd um like freeze kaya. Uh, Miss Lloyd, do me a favor. Uh, yeah, there. Can you... There, it's better. Your video now is better. Yes. Kasi pero nung chinek natin oh no, kanina, nung nag-check tayo, okay naman. Nag-free freeze. Nag-free freeze. Oo, oh, nag-free oh, freeze. Oo, ewan ko kung bakit. So, ano nga yung nangyayari? What happens? I, Nakikita I know. Nakikita ba niyo ako? Hindi. Uh, yes, yes, we, we, can, we, we can We can okay, see you. Better. Okay na, better na? It's better? Yes. Hindi nag-free freeze? Okay, so okay na. 
Okay. Take it out. Tito boy. Loida, you can again greet our audience. Take over uh, okay. Yes, go ahead. Welcome to uh, Roundtable Conversations. Thank you. Okay. Good evening, Dr. Boyabunda and Jesse Day. And to everyone who's listening, maraming salamat sa inyong pagkinig. Maraming salamat. <laughs> Narito ako ngayon sa East Hampton. Thank you. Thank you. Ang susyad. Kumusta, Loida? How's everything? How are you doing? I am good because we are sheltering in place. Narito kami, malayo sa Manhattan dahil sa, sa aking apartment mismo, there are 44 tenants, dalawa nagkasakit ng COVID. And sadly, oh, wow. he was 80 years old na matay. So sabi namin, dito na muna kami, malayo sa Manhattan, sheltering in place. So, so far, my family is fine. My family in the Philippines is fine. Hello, Francis, Melly. And my family in United States are also fine. Salamat sa pagdanong. Kayo naman dyan. Kamusta? Jesse. We are fine. Sa New Jesse, how are you? Yeah. I'm okay. Uh, I'm still working from home. Uh, for today, I took a day off. I'm still working from home. And um, so, trabaho namin, um, the whole building, 25% lang ang capacity na inaalaw. And if you want to go back to the office, there's like a bunch of tests that, and there's a lot of um, applications that you need to fill out. So I'm like, you know what? I'll rather stay home because and work from home because my son is also um, um, in class, actually virtual class naman. So at least na-assist ko siya. Pero yun, okay lang naman. Tumataba kasi kakakain. <laughs> yeah. Tito Boy, what about you? Okay. Now we're fine. We're doing fine. Um, okay naman kami dito. Alam mo naman, alam niyo naman ang Pinoy eh sanay tayo lumalaban uh, at uh, patuloy na natututo. Now we're getting more familiar with uh, we're not familiar with the virus, but we're getting familiar with how it is to live with you know the virus and we I think we're more careful. We know how to protect ourselves and uh, we have to move on. Yes. Okay. That's so true. Lloyd, I'm so excited about this conversation because, you know, I'm coming in from the Philippines. Um, I wanted to find out, kasi pinag-uusapan, Lloyd, yung kung gaano kahalaga itong American elections, itong November 3 elections sa U.S. Mm -hmm. Why is this so important and why is it so critical for, American, uh, for Americans, for the Filipino Americans, bakit napakahalaga nito? Dahil sa itong ating presidente na nasa White House ngayon, ay napaka inept, constant lying, no regard for human life, and he's violating everything that we believe in as Americans, as believers in the Constitution and the rule of law, ay grabe, grabe itong presidenting ito. Kaya sabi ni George, Joe Biden, who is my candidate, we are fighting for the soul of America. Ano ang nangyayari dito sa America? Just yesterday or today, 13 militiamen, mga Amerikano, na gustong i-kidnap ang, ang governor ng Michigan, Mrs. Kreshner, dahil sa lumalaban daw si Mrs. Kreshner, who is following the who is following just health, asking people to wear a mask. At para sa kanilang mga, mga militiamen, that is against the Constitution. So they were planning to kidnap her and stage a civil war. Birong ginagawa nitong presidente natin. So that's why I'm saying this election is very, very important because it will decide what kind of America do we want. An America where people can work together or an America where people are against each other to the point of civil war. Loida, I hear you. Uh, I hear you. Uh, before I go to the last debate I saw, which was the debate of the vice presidential candidates, mm -hmm. uh, pupuntahan ko lamang yung sinabi mo uh, tungkol kay uh, U.S. President Trump. Pwede na nagtataka ako, pero bakit pag siya ang kaharap, uh, halimbawa, napapanood sa television, uh, kinakausap siya ng mga tao, ang sinasabi niya, he's very honest to the American people. Ang sinasabi niya ay uh, mahal na mahal niya ang Amerika. Ang sinasabi niya ay uh, he doesn't hate... Uh, uh, he's not uh, xenophobic. Ang sinasabi niya, it's the other side of what we often hear. Saan ang ano? Um, ba bakit may disconnect? Hindi disconnect yun. He's a psychopath. 
He has told a lie, oh according to the Washington Post, since he became 20,000 times. So, mm. sasabihin siya ngayon, babalik tali niya bukas. Meron siyang sasabihin bukas, pakatapos binalik niya yung sinabi niya kahapon. So, this president will say anything just so he can put himself up. Nag-umpisa ito ng inauguration. Sabi niya, punong-puno ang buong Washington, D.C. Ang aming, uh, you know, the, the part. Pero nakita mo sa periodiko, walang tao, kalahati lamang. So, umpisa doon, purus lies, incessant falsehood. Grabe. So, sinasabi mo, ang tingin niya sa camera, sasabihin niya ganito. At continuous yan. Biro mo, siya din ang nagsabi na President Obama was born in Kenya. Until he became president, hindi na binawi yun. So, yan ang Facebook ng isang dictator. Tell your lies all the time. Continuously, continuously, makikig ang mga tao. At saka ngayon, meron pang mga Pilipino as I'm sad to say, who are still voting for Trump. Why? Because they believe everything that he says. And, and also, another issue for Catholics, Filipino, is the abortion issue. So for the general public, ang mga tao, nakikinig sa kanya, at sabi siya ng sabi ng mga kabulanan, pag sinasabi mo ang kabulanan, continuously, the people will start to believe you. Yang ginawa ni Hitler sa Germany. Hello, Mr. Okay, Loida, okay. uh, sundan ko lamang yan. Uh, can you hear me, Loida? You can hear me? Yes. Okay. 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 Uh, yes, yes. Puntahan ko lamang yung sinabi mo why because he continues to, uh, yun yung, uh, Jason, uh, Jesse, ito yung uh, communications expert ni dating uh, leader ng Germany, si Hitler, si Goebbels. You know, mm -hmm. who, who believe that uh, by uh, repeating, you know, a lie a thousand times or even less makes it the truth, okay? Pero pupuntahan ko lamang yung, na-mention mo na rin, uh, Lloyda, yung abortion. Let's talk about it. Ano ba talaga ang stand uh, ni, pre, ni uh, Vice President Biden ng yung uh, candidate for pre presidency? What What is the real stand of Biden okay. on abortion? Okay. Okay. President Biden himself, a Catholic, and just as M, a Catholic, is against abortion for, him, for his wife, his daughter, but he respects if his daughter says, you know, I had an unwanted pregnancy, I will abort. He is going to try his best to convince her not to do it. But if it's not, if she is not convinced, he will respect the right of any woman, his daughters, you know, a cousin, a relative. He will respect the right to decide what they want to do. Of course, for us Catholics, it's a no-no. But how can we Catholics impose on other women to say, believe what I believe, or you cannot do what I believe is murder? So that's what is at issue now. Roe versus Wade around That's right. 1975 decided, the, the Supreme Court decided that a woman has the right to decide what she wants to do with her health. So that is what is at stake now. Filipino Catholics says that the Constitution is wrong. A person does not have the right to decide. A woman does not have the right to decide what to do with her body. Because in the Catholic Church, abortion is a mortal sin. So that's all they see. And they do not see all the lies, all the incompetence of this president, all the 210 lives that has been lost, all the economic okay. disaster that has happened. So yan ang, yan ang problema ng mga uh -oh. voters, okay. Filipino uh -oh. voters. Uh -oh. I wish I could join the round table. Uh, I know, country. right? Yes, Alex, I mean, Alex, oh, oh yes, my we, God. We will talk about it. So, Ida, <laughs> okay. uh, okay, sundan ko lang yun. Kasi yung uh, pagiging katoliko at saka yung abortion issue, to your mind, is not a contradiction. 
Kasi yun ang problema ng marami. Pag katoli ko ka, uh, hindi ka pwede maging pro-choice. Kasi wala kang karapatan dahil buhay ang pinag-uusapan. So sa mga katoliko na nakikinig ngayon, uh, it is it is possible to reconcile being a Catholic and being pro-choice. Mm-hmm. Well, the choice is the other person, you know, the other woman. For you as a Catholic, for yourself, you should not quit. You know it's against your conscience and against the law of God for yourself. But why are you going to impose what you want to the other person? Okay? For ourselves, Friday is a day of abstinence. Why should we impose that right on everybody else? Oy, Friday ngayon. You should not eat meat. All right? So, that is the basic concept of what the freedom to choose is. Not freedom to choose for myself. I have freedom to choose. But you, when you say you cannot choose for yourself to abort your baby, because that is the Catholic Church teaching. So, that is what it means. Pro-choice means the woman has a right to choose. For yourself, if you're Catholic, you don't do it. You know it's against the law of God. But for other women, that's the role of their own religion. All right? Protestant, for them, life begins at birth. For Muslims, life begins at birth. For Catholics and some Christians, apostolic Christian, life begins at conception. Conception. But that belief, conception, and that belief is individual. All right? Is this a stand um, of uh, Vice President Biden? Is this a stand? Is this the yes. official stand? Okay, all right. Okay. Yes. So uh, I personally get it. Do you get he, it, he approves, yeah. he approves Roe versus Wade. 1975 case, yeah. yeah. Almo almo ko ang take ko dito. Kasi um, I've been talking, we've been, it's not just because we're having a, uh, uh, was that we already invited me to boy? Like mm-hmm. a few weeks ago, but All right. every, whenever we have like a conversation about you know abortion um, specifically, I remember um, I had a friend, uh, a, uh, a friend slash coworker. So during that time, like she was you know having a problem, and she was like, Jesse, um, I want to keep the baby, but I'm thinking of what will happen in the near future because first, first. She's not so sure if she's capable enough to take care of the baby. Second, tatlo na anak niya. So she's not so sure if she can afford it. So sa akin ang take ko doon is, if, you, if you're just thinking about uh, the conception, kasi nga baby pa daw, so isipin mo yung, uh, yung sinasabi nilang, kay, ang Diyos, paparusahan ka, kasi nagpa-abort ka. Ang sa akin kasi, I'm always thinking five years, ten years, look ahead. Kung, let's say, you have three to four kids already and you know that you cannot give them a good shelter, a good education, a good life. So for me, it's better to, I'm not saying like, get rid of the baby right now, but at least think about it or maybe try to think of Pampon mo na lang muna. Pero hindi ko sinasabing mali ang magpa-abort. Hindi ko rin sinasabing tama. Okay. Just ang saan iniisip ko lang is, right. isipin mo ang future nung bata okay. before mo ka mag-decide. Something like that. I mean, oh, that's, that's my ano. point. Yes. The context of what Lloyd is trying to say, I think is, uh, bilang katoliko, uh, meron kang desisyon, but you cannot impose your decision on others. Doon naman yes. sa example na ibinigay mo, Jesse, uh, maaari ang una kong reaksyon, uh, medyo mababaw ng konti yan kung ipa-abort mo ang baby. Ang dahilan mo lang ay may tatlo ka ng anak. Etc. That's an entirely yes. different. Again, I, I am not imposing what I think on exactly. your friend. Exactly. Yes. But uh, may mga debate kasi yan na kung halimbawa uh, na-rape ang isang tao o di kaya... Exactly. Ay, I was about uh, to say the rape. Uh, yes. may, may, may mga ibang kadahilanan pa. Ikaw ba, Lloyd, is, does, uh, does the situation... In, in, the, in the debate about abortion, even the Roe and Wade, because I think you're more familiar with the case. Ano ang sinasabi doon sa, halimbawa, just a, as a guide, no? Mm-hmm. Um, when is a woman, to your mind, has the right to choose abortion for herself? First trimester. Okay. okay. The first trimester, the first three months. 
After mm-hmm. that, there is the possibility that the life can live outside of the womb. You okay. know, that is the mm-hmm. that is the issue here. When uh, uh, does life begin? Under any circumstance? Under any Or circumstance. Definitely. And no, ang, ang aking ano dito, for the Catholic Church and for the Catholics who does not believe in abortion, meron yatang disconnect or meron yatang contradiction or hypocrisy. Kasi pag nabuhay na, don't abort. Pag nabuhay na, yung sinasabi mong kaibigan mo, nabuhay na, ay hindi niya pwedeng Um, you know, he, she doesn't think she can handle a fourth child or a fifth child or a sixth mm-hmm. child or a seventh child. Kahit na ano. Ano ang ginagawa ng Catholic Church? Ba tayong orphanage? Does the Catholic exactly. Church have an orphanage? Mm-hmm. Merong Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa is private. Wala silang exactly. budget sa archdiocese or sa archdiocese. So don't say you're pro-life. You are pro-birth. Pagkatapos ng nabuhay, bahala ka na sa buhay mo. Okay, so I am calling on the Catholic Church. That is a contradiction and that is hypocrisy. You are saying save life, pro-life. Pag bebuhay na, wala. No, exactly. wala yes. kaming masyadong mag-expensive ang, ang uh, our orphanage. Tingnan mo na lang sa Pilipinas. I went mm-hmm. myself to Mother Teresa Orphanage of, pe- of babies, children who are physically handicapped. Tinanong ko, You know, as I was crying, dahil sa kailang nakakaawa. But, sabi ng Mother Teresa, superior, no, we don't receive anything from the Archdiocese. Everything God provides. Oh, anong nangyari sa inyong respect life? No, you are respecting exactly. birth. Pag buhay na, bahala ka sa sarili mo. Yes. And mm-hmm. where is the Catholic Church when black men are being murdered? Quiet. They're not respecting life. And they're respecting birth not life. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's move on. Uh, Loida, after the, uh, after the issue on abortion and religion, um, ito y- dito nga nag-umpisa yata yung, ano, yung debate ni, uh, the debate between uh, Mike Pence and uh, Kamala, Harris. Kamala Harris. Yung mask, itong mask, no? Um, wh- what is your position On, uh, I mean, of course, we all know the story around the world as to what happened to U.S. President Trump. Siya ay napunta sa Walter Reed a Hospital. Uh, he tested positive, etc. Um, to your mind, Loida, um, w- w- what does it mean? W- what does this mask mean to both candidates? Biden debated with a mask. Uh, Trump is not very uh, hot at masks. Tama ba yung aming perception sa labas ng Amerika? No, tama yun. Tama yun. Why? Because Trump is so vain. Ayaw niya siyang may mask kasi yung kanyang makeup orange pupunta doon. That's one. Number two, all the, all, the doc- all the doctors are saying, scientists are saying, and alam din na Trump, that when you speak, particles of the air and the virus can go into the air. So, that's the why When you put a mask, you prevent infection. You prevent infection. There is no doctor that says, no, pwede, walang, walang bali yon. So, Biden is believing the doctors, the scientists. Trump does not. And even now, he says, I'm not going to debate if it's not going to be face-to-face. Meron pa siyang inf- infection. He is only infected three days. The virus is in him for at least 10 days. So, yan ang problema ni Trump. He does not believe in doctors. He only believes in himself. Self-promotion. So, he is. He is a virus himself. I know. <laughs> Walang respeto. Walang respeto. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ang sinasabi ko sa inyo, Loita, is uh, the next uh, presidential debate is scheduled supposedly October 15 in Miami. Yeah, October 22. And ang sinasabi nga ni uh, President Trump ay ayoko magpagdebate kung hindi kami harap exactly. harapan. harapan. Magbibilang ka naman ng araw kasi within the 14 day. Kami dito, dito sa Pilipinas, uh, ako uh, na ing uh, na il- lagay sa aking isipan na kailangan nakakwarantine ka ng 14 uh, yes. days uh-huh. na hindi yata pinaniniwalaan masyado ni President uh, Trump. You, you wanted to say something, Chess? I'm sorry. No, no, no. Actually, it was about, kasi there was like uh, a lot of speculations na the reason why, um, uh, 
nagkaroon daw siya ng COVID-19 or maybe he was just like trying to act that you know like he has COVID-19 it's because he's trying to escape the next debate because of course everyone saw the you know like the I don't know whatever you call that that's not even a debate it was a bullying <laughs> debate I don't, it's not even a debate I don't know kung anong perfect description dyan so yun yung pinag uh, speculations ngayon na um, Trump was just making a, a, a story so that he can escape that debate because he knows from that debate everyone was mocking actually nakakahiya sa totoo lang ha after that we were talking about it pinagtatawanan ng Amerika compared to comp- actually it was a day and night comparison dun sa dalawang debate because I've watched both I swear kahit yung mga friends ko Tito Boy and Miss Loida mm. wala kaming masyadong naintindihan sa first the second one the second debate, which was last Thursday, my God, I wrote a lot. I've learned so much about both parties, the Democrats and the Republicans' advocacy because of that. So, do you think, Miss Loida, do you think um, tama yung mga speculations nila? Because Mr. Trump just want to escape from the debate? No, no, no. Kasi no. Takot siya? Don't believe that crap. Okay. okay? Hindi sa takot. Talagang nagkasakit siya. At hindi ah, okay. siya Talaga supporting of siya. his staff. Okay. Yung kanyang right. press conference, press, press, lahat, lahat nagkasakit. So hindi And yung gawa-gawa ng kanyang isip. Alright? Mm-hmm. Ngayon, sinasabi niya, pag hindi ako kasama, pag hindi ako face-to-face, I will not go in the debate. Why? Because matatalo na naman siya. Bastos kung siya ay... Bastos na bastos. Walang modo. And in terms of... I just want to follow up. In terms of uh, face mask, Vietnam got to the internet and look what Vietnam has done. As soon as they learned in January, immediately close. I mean, everybody has to wear a mask. Everybody knew what to do because in 2003, with the SARS, na intindihan nila delikado ito, so they prepared. Since 2003, what happens if there is a pandemic? President Obama also had in 2008 Ebola. So he created a, a part, department that will look at this pandemic from around the world. Anong ginawa ni Trump? Sinarahan. He, he shut down that office and he dismissed the doctors who were going to watch out for us. Kaya ngayon, nangyari ang coronavirus. Ano ang plano? Walang plano. Walang plano. And can you imagine? 210,000 have died. Talo pa ang namatay sa gyera ng Vietnam, Korean War, Iraq War, Afghanistan. Ipagsami mo, lahat ng namatay doon, kulang pa sa namatay ngayon under the leadership, lack of leadership of Trump. Okay. Loida, I just wanted to raise what Mike Pence, uh, Vice President uh, Pence, uh, said in that debate. Sabi niya, uh, maagang nga nalaman ni President Trump na merong itong, itong uh, infection, itong virus na ito. At um, as early, I, th- this is, I think, also in the notes, or if na- I haven't read the book, Elton Luga is watching us now. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I, I requested for him to get me that copy of Rage, uh, the book of Bob Woodward. Ang sabi nila, kung hindi raw maayos ang pagkatrabaho ni Trump, ay millions would have died. I mean, I, you know, it, it, it wouldn't just have been 210,000 people dead, but it could have been more. What do you say to this comment of Vice President Pence, Loida? Just ko, grabe. Ang ibig sabihin, pwede mamatay ang 210, baliwala yun. No, 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 no. That, that, that is the most inept explanation. The explanation is that he didn't know what to do. Hindi alam ni Trump. And he's saying, I didn't want people to panic. So you don't want people to panic? You want them to die? So one life mm-hmm. has no value? 210 lives. Fathers, brothers, sisters, teachers, nurses. Sa mga Filipino nurses na lang. We are 150,000 nurses in the entire United States. We are 4% of the number of nurses. But we died 30% ng mga nurses na namatay are Filipino nurses. So, anong ibig mong sabihin? Baliwala yun? No. I, uh, that, that explanation is lame. Walang paa. 
Okay. Uh, Lloyd, if the vaccine is out on or before the election, sa iyong palagay ba ito'y may, ito'y may epekto uh, sa, sa elections? Uh, walang epekto. Siguro doon sa mga naniniwala hmm. kay Trump, kukunan niyang vaksina yan. But lahat ng mga scientists, they say it will take a long time. Maybe, maybe during the spring. Maybe in January. But ngayon, before the election, that's rushed. Baka mamatay ka pa sa vaksin. Uh, okay, Ms. Lola, I have a question. Yes, I have a question. Um, kasi uh, I've been, you know, reading and watching news about, you know, the, the Democrats' um, uh, plan for, and the, the Republicans' plan for, you know, how to rectify the problem of COVID-19. Um, what do you think is the, Kasi hindi masyadong clear eh, yung, yung plano ng, ng, ng Democrats as well. Kasi obviously, ang Republicans, um, naging complacent sila. How they handled COVID-19. It's supposed to be, it was, I remember, January, nag-post na ako. Because I've been seeing a lot of, you know, about COVID-19. Nag-post na ako January. Since actually December, na basa ko niyon, so I posted it, and a lot of people actually bashed me because I was posting N95. Guys, please um, start uh, purchasing N95, and everyone was a lot of people were mocking at me, like, "Oh my God, Jesse, my God, oh, ang OA mo, you're overreacting." And then after that, around January 28, it became viral, but the Trump administration didn't do anything until March. Up until now, they do, still don't know what they're doing. Ano ang advocacy ng Democrat? At anong plano nilang gawin kung nanalo sila? Kasi feeling ko, tatagal pa to eh. So, I mean, na, I know you're an avid fan of, um, we all know that you're an avid fan of um, Mr. Um, Biden. So, ano yung tingin mong unang-una nilang gagawing step to rectify the Mandatory. COVID-19 problem? Mandatory mandatory face mask mandatory as soon as january 20 starts by january 21 he will mandate mandatory everyone should have a face mask because that's what in vietnam south korea has very low incidence there is another one thailand has a very low incidence Mm -hmm. because and prague because i have a classmate in prague as soon as it happened everybody is making face mask and everybody uses face mask so, anong gagawin ni Joe Biden? That's the first thing. And then he will uh, see to it that the vaccine is implemented slowly. Baka mamaya, hindi pa natetest yan. Dahil sa, they rushed it. But uh, one thing for sure, he will mandate everybody wears a face mask. Okay. Uh, let's move on to another topic, Lloyd. Kasi isa sa mga uh, ipinupuntos, ika nga, uh, ng mga kalaban ni uh, Vice President Biden ay uh, may kinalaman sa buwis, sa taxes. So I, taxes. I also heard that in, in, in the debate. No? Para lamang klaro, what does a Biden uh, presidency mean in terms of taxes? <laughs> okay. First of all, just remember, Biden released his tax returns, which has been the habit of all presidential candidates since it started 50 years mm-hmm. ago. Trump is always saying, well, look at my taxes. But he is fighting tooth and nail not to release his taxes. And you know, when you are asked to to submit an evidence and you don't want to submit it, it's because it's against you. Ano ang pinakamalaki doon? He has 400 million utang. Kanino? Siguro gutang sa China, utang sa Russia, dahil sa he is an ally of Putin, not of the United States. So that's one area. Secondly, anong gusto ni, ni Biden? The income tax was reduced for corporations and rich people a lot. So we have a three trillion deficit because of the reduction in collection of taxes from corporations, from rich individuals. So what will Biden do? He will move it back. Why? Because what happened to corporations who got back who did not have to pay so much money in taxes, they gave themselves bonus na malalaki. They, boy, they bought out, hindi pinigay sa kanilang employees, 
they bought the stocks of the company so that the value will go up. So it's all self-interest ng executives of corporations and the poor working class did not receive any increase. So what is Bayon going to do? He will increase the taxes for the rich, those who are earning more than $400,000 a year, and he will increase corporate yeah. taxes because ang gusto nilang mangyari, hindi nangyari. Okay. I want to go okay. to that comment. Can you just bring uh -huh. back that comment from uh, Shane? I saw that on my screen. Yes. That mm -hmm. was an interesting follow-up. If I can, yes. uh, JV, if we can just go can you please, to yeah. the comment. Uh, can we Shane, go back? Shane. Shane. Uh, uh, Shane. Yeah. The Shana it's, Marie. Okay. Here. Biden will not get rid of the Affordable uh, Act. Unlike Trump, Americans with pre-existing conditions will still have insurance coverage under, under Biden. Biden. Yes. Is this correct, uh, Loida? That, that, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Because right now, in oh. November 9, the Supreme Court will decide whether Affordable Care Act or the Obamacare is constitutional or not. So that is, that is Trump. Is, his government is, has filed this case, and it's now with the Supreme Court. So, in the time of a pandemic, aalisin niya ang Affordable Tayer Act. And in fact, Trump has already taken off little by little. Okay. So now, 10 million Americans have lost their insurance because he has already been slowly cutting off. And a for a people with pre-existing condition that was mm -hmm. under the Obamacare, in the list na niya. Ang dami nga yung mga bata who is over 26 na walang health insurance, around 400,000. But the most important, around 10 million um, a Filipino, I mean, not sorry, 10 million people who had insurance under Obamacare lost it in the midst of the pandemic. Anong klaseng mm -hmm. presidente yan? Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll okay. Go. Go. Okay. Go okay. Uh, let me go just, because Lloyd mentioned uh, partly foreign policy. Doon sa, sinabi niyo po kanina, na um, si President Trump ay <laughs> close kay President Putin. Ano ho ba talaga, in a language that we'll understand, Loida, what is America's uh, relationship with Russia and with China? We are competitors. Ibig sabihin, we are a democracy. They are a dictatorship. And ito na lang masabi ko, he requested a meeting with Putin early on. Sino ang nag-attend? Nobody silang dalawa lang. And when it was over, hindi ni Trump yung notes ng interpreter because he doesn't speak Russian. There is a, a Russian interpreter to English. Mm -hmm. Hindi ni na yung notes para hindi walang makakasabi kung ano ang pinag-usapan nila. That's one. Secondly, mm -hmm. lahat ng gusto ni Putin, okay, nasusunod. We are uh, uh, accusing Russia of interfering in the 26 election. Sabi yan ng intelligence, FBI, CIA, you know, undercover. Mm -hmm. Pag when he came to the press, Putin told me there was no interference and I believe him. So, anong klase yan? Your own intelligence, hindi mo na you don't believe and you will believe your competitor, Russia, and lahat ng gusto ng Russia invade, um, invade what is it now? One country. And we did nothing. And the most important, Russia said if you, in Afghanistan, Anybody who kills a Russian soldier, we will give a bounty. Bibigyan namin ng pera. And it, true enough, there were three American soldiers that were killed, and Russia gave a bounty. Ano ginawa ni, ni, put, ni Trump? Nothing. Zero. So, yan ba ang tunay na presidente who will protect the lives of Americans? Most of all, American soldiers. So, he is down. Okay. So oh, okay, go ahead. Traitor. Go, go ahead. Uh, okay. Traitor. He's a ahead. traitor. Uh, okay. Um uh uh Miss Loida, okay, um I know uh President uh, Trump um has always been blaming China for what happened to coronavirus, right? Calling so the virus goes, China virus. Okay. Uh, yes, China virus, yes. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> China virus. Um since Majority ng mga, like a majority of the stuff that we have actually in the US are made from China. And majority of the manufacturers are all in China, as in what, 60%, 70% are made in China because of mababa ang labor, oh, okay. the ba ang cost and everything. 
So, anong plano ng administration ni Biden? Saan tayo kukuha pagdating sa China? At saka, saan, sa, anong company, I mean, anong bansa ang next na magmamanufacture ng cheaper items na katulad ng China? Okay, it's not only what we are buying clothes, we are exporting to China pork, mm-hmm. uh, soya beans, many others. Ailsa, they have 1 billion 300 million inhabitants. Hindi nila kaya. And so with mm-hmm. this trade war with China by Trump, bankruptcy ang mga farmers natin sa Midwest, kaya matatalo siya sa Midwest eventually. So, what does Biden do? Biden believes in talking. What is in your interest was in our interest. And trade, more than anything else, is important. So, what can we trade you and what do we need from you? So, mag-usap. Hindi yung ganito lamang na uh, dahil ang virus galing sa inyo. And believe me, you point there, three fingers are pointing to him. Kasalanan niya. And he learned mm-hmm. about it. And sabi niya, ito kay Babu Ward. In January 29, he did nothing. And he, on television, he said, it's hoax. Baliwala. Mawawala yan. Miracle. By, by, by summer. Ito na tayo in autumn. Naroon pa rin ang coronavirus. He doesn't want to put the finger to himself. No responsibility. At sinabi niya yun, I have no responsibility. So, then, he is not fit to be a president. He should be out. Throw this rascal out. Okay. Uh, Loida, roughly 27 days, 26 days to election day. Mm-hmm. Bakit napakalaking issue yung appointment sa Supreme Court? Can you enlighten us? Yes. Roe versus Wade, which is this decision by the Supreme mm-hmm. Court in around 50 years ago, that the woman has a right to decide what she wants to do with her health including abortion. That's Roe versus Wade, which is using the public money for a poor woman who wants to decide she wants an abortion. That's the issue. Okay. Ngayon, since that time, the conservatives, those who do not believe that there should be a, there should be a, um, those who do not believe that abortion is a no-no to anybody not for myself, but every woman wants that overturned. And because uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg died, and she voted, you know, she is always yeah. for the right of the woman to decide for herself, Judge Barrett is against that belief. Judge Barrett is an uh, evangelical Christian, and for her, no woman has a right to decide what she wants to do with the baby in her womb, with the fetus in her womb. So it is very important for those who believe that Roe versus Wade should be, remain part of the law against those who are saying, no, no woman should have the right to abort her, baby, her fetus. So that is so important that the president who is elected by November 3, because that's the people, he is elected by the people, should have a right to decide, to appoint the Supreme Court judge. Not this president within 25, within less than 25 days for election. And he will be defeated. Yeah, I remember this point, Roida, because in the debate of uh, Kamala Harris and Mike Pence, um, you know, I think Kamala Harris raised that point uh, about... uh, about uh, President Lincoln, you know, hundred years. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. He was like he was saying as a history. Yes, that you know <laughs> he had to wait for the elections mm-hmm. to happen uh, before you know uh, electing a new member of the Supreme Court as a point of reference. Ako yung nagtatakalaman kung bakit napakalaking issue. Yung palayon, may kinalaman hudi din ito uh, doon yes. sa Roe versus Wade na yes. kaso na may kinalaman doon mm-hmm. sa choice na meron ng babae sa kanyang, uh, sa kanyang protektahan ang, kung ano man ang gusto niya sa kanyang katawan. Now okay. I understand that. Okay, yes. thank you and, very much, Lloyd. Yeah. Let me also... Um, wait, okay. wait. And Judge Barrett herself said, 
I will vote against Roe versus Wade. Sinabi na niya. So there's no, okay. there is no inkling. There is no guessing. She said it yeah. herself. Uh, right. Okay. Um, ito, uh, dito ba yan, Ms. Lloyd? Um, okay. I'll, I, I did a, a few surveys, you know, like who they, they want to vote um, with some of my friends. And most of them, ang answer nila is they don't want to vote. So I asked them why. Because they're worried of Mr. Biden's health and Mr. Trump's health. Because obviously, see, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Biden is already 78 years old and Trump is 74 years old. So what do you think is your stand about that? That people, people are up to vote because they're worried about the next president's health. Okay. They're blind and they are deaf. If they watch the television, you can see that Joe Biden is in good health. He is 77, but he is spry. He has maintained his, his uh, weight, whereas the other one is 74. Trump is 74, but he has let go of his health. He is obese. So for <laughs> those who are senior citizen, those who are senior citizen, it's up to you. You can live all the way to 100 years old. If you maintain a good health habit, you eat the right food, you exercise, and you have a positive attitude, you can live long, healthy, and mm-hmm. well. So for your friend who doesn't want to vote, because eh, matanda na sila, you are blind mm-hmm. and you are deaf. Mm-hmm. Kasi Tito Boy, naging issue din yan eh. I mean, a lot of people, if you, if you, because uh, I tried to do a research about it, it's not just my friends. A lot of people are really worried um, and questioning about the health of the next president. No, as a matter is, of fact, yes. that's uh, a bit valid because in the vice presidential debate, Lloyd, mm-hmm. uh, he also talked about uh, Trump's, um, he sort mm-hmm. of refuses to commit himself to a peaceful transition. Yes. You know, I, I, I just want to segue to that, no? Uh, but um, to, to a peaceful transition in the event that he loses in this election, mm-hmm. claiming that uh, only if it is rigged that he would lose. Your comment? Yes, that's again his propaganda. Say it again and again and again. That's why we on the Biden campaign want an overwhelming, overwhelming win for Biden mm-hmm. so that he cannot say it's rigged all over. I mean, he doesn't want to accept the truth that he is losing. Because right now, all polls are saying Biden is winning, even Fox News, mm-hmm. his own television station. Matatalo siya. And what is he saying? Kung matatalo ako, kayo mga white boys, the white supremacists, mga kukusukan, those who are Nazis, he is fomenting them to start civil war for him. That's why he said during the debate, boys, stand back and stand by. Stand by. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Okay? Foment civil war. And as I said, they're already starting it. And mabuti naman, the FBI saw them. They arrested 13 militiamen in Michigan who had, was planning to kidnap the governor of Michigan. Umpisa na. And that's from this president. Lloyd, ito ba yung nakita namin the next day after uh, the debate, yung uh, rally ng mga Proud Boys? Yung ba yung tawag sa kanila? Mm-hmm. Is, this, uh, is this part exactly. of... Exactly. Uh, Okay. The white supremacists na sinasabi yes. ng uh, mga new. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because when he says, make America great again, ibig sabihin nun, make America white again. And so he has never condemned the Klux Klan, the separatist movement, the, uh, yan, yung mga brown boys na yan, militia, may tinatawag pa na bugalo, Meron pa silang pangalan na I can't remember now. May mga pangalan sila. And they are arming themselves. They are arming themselves to start a civil war to support Trump. What kind of president is this? He wants to destroy the democracy that is America. 
Oh. Okay, there, there was this comment uh, just a while mm -hmm. ago, a short while ago, which makes a little sense. Do not use, can, can I have that again? Uh, yes, JV. Uh, 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 there was somebody who said, off, do not I... use uh, age as an excuse for you not to vote. Yes. Because I think it's, it's good to talk about it. Na, mm -hmm. kung, ating, uh, kung ang mga kandidato sa Amerika, hindi atin, ako uh, nasa Pilipinas, 74 years old, 177. And if we use that as an excuse not to vote, Sabi nung nag-comment, ay huwag naman sana gamitin yun na, na dahilan. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Because uh, both candidates are, are, you know, are of that age, 74 and 77. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to, I just wanted to point uh, I agree. that comment. Uh -huh. Okay. Tama, uh, yes. I agree. I agree with that comment. Dahil sa, right. if you don't vote, actually you are voting. If you don't vote, you are voting. You are voting for whoever wins. And if that's not the person you want, then you have, you know, you, you contributed to the winning of that person. You have to yes. vote so that you know, this is my choice. And kung matalo, well, take it up. Kung manalo, well, you won it. But you, you have to, yes, that's the reason why so many people have fought, women fought for the right to vote. African Americans fought for the right to vote. Katapos ikaw, baliwala sa mm -hmm. akin. Uh, that's not Tapos right. pag may nangyaring, pag may nangyaring right. masama, <laughs> yeah, pag may nangyaring masama, sisisihin mo ang gobyerno, but you didn't even at least vote. Oh. Yeah, Elton Lugar had a very good comment. Uh, yes. had a very good, has a very good comment. Sabi ni Elton, uh, Trump was actually asked to call out the white supremacists during the debate, and he didn't. Uh, actually, the day after, mm -hmm. in an ambush interview, that was the time he said, yes, I, etc. Et That's when he spoke about uh, the white supremacists. Elton wants your comment, Lloyda, on Trump's refusal to call out the white supremacists during the debate. Because that's the truth. He doesn't want to. He said that when there was a rally in, Louis, in uh, what mm -hmm. is it, Louisville, Kentucky, where... There was an anti, where there was a group of ganyan, uh, proud boys and militiamen and kukukuan and anti Semite. Okay, they were spouting mm -hmm. all of this negativity, hate. And one uh, on the other side were those who were against this hate group. And a man of that part ran a uh, car and killed one of the anti, of, of the Liberal, let's put it liberal, the Democrat, mm. killed. And what did Trump say? There are good people on both sides. How can you say that? How can you say yeah. that? The other side is that. promoting mm -hmm. hate and division, and he says that? So, yung sinasabi niya after the debate, oh no, I am really condemning them, is a lie. He is a liar, and that's what he does. So please, don't believe him. Uh, Ms. Lloyd, I do have a question. Um, I know uh, everyone are aware that um, Mr. President Trump is, um, is is a racist and he has a radical be behavior. Like he doesn't really care what he doesn't think. Whenever he speak, he would just say it as it is. It doesn't matter kung may masaktan siya or wala. So ang question ko is, why do you think, ah, Ms. Lloyd, can you hear us? Nawala ata si Ms. Lloyd. She's adjusting uh, her um, gadget uh, there. Lloyd there you go. Okay. okay there. Can you hear us, Lloyd? Hello? Ms. Lloyd? Okay. Nawala okay. si Ms. Lloyd. Uh, we're having I'm sorry. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's it's okay. okay. Can you repeat the question? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, no, have okay. a couple more questions. Oh, go, go, go ahead, Jess. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Mr. Trump... Uh, uh, President Trump um, has been considered as as a liar, as a psychopath, a racist. He has a, a radical behavior. He doesn't think whenever he he, he speaks. Um, he posts and publishes. Um, I no one. Na tawa ako. Pa ika ganito po pala. Guys, we're having a problem. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Pa init na pa init na ating pag-usap. We just have a few more questions. And, yes. Uh, Actually, yes. That, ba, what, a, mm. what a lady, what a woman. He, she Grabe doesn't make no? words. She knows yes. where she stands. Mm -hmm. And he's not a real kanina, Jessie, na 
ang sarap panuorin, pakinggan ang mga taong sigurado sa kanilang mga opinion. I'm not saying that it's not also nice to listen to people who are not sure. Mm-hmm. Because that's mm-hmm. I learned from everyone. From everyone, so, yes, me too. So refreshing to learn and to listen to somebody like uh, Lloyda Nicolás Luis. You were saying, I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, there. Okay. Lloyda is back. Lloyda, are you back? Yes, Lloyda. Okay, she should be back uh, in a while. In a minute, right? uh-huh. You were saying, Jesse, I'm sorry. Can you see me? Yeah. We can hear you, but we can't. There. You're yes, back. there you there. go. You're back. Miss Lloyda, can you hear us? <laughs> so, I can hear you. Yes, thank you. No, that's okay. okay. That's okay. That happens. Okay. I mean, technical problems happen. Go yes. ahead. Jesse. Okay. You were saying. So, okay. Um, um, okay, let me re- repeat it. Baka hindi ko maulit ulit. So anyway, okay. okay. Yes, okay. So a lot okay. of people, yes, a lot of people uh, um, has been saying that he's a racist, he's a liar, he's a psychopath. Um, he just say how, how he feels without even thinking. I'm not so sure if the, uh, the, he has a PR who checks his uh, Twitter or, or especially Twitter before he posts something that is so uh, racist and inhumane. So ang question ko is, especially yung racism, how come there's a lot of Filipinos, which is discreet Filipinos, that are still voting? I mean, that are still cheating for Trump in spite of the racism that they're saying. So, bakit tingin mo ang marami? Kasi I know a lot of Republicans. They love, love Trump. So, I was just wondering, bakit? Anong tingin mo? Sa mga Filipino who are voting for yes. Trump is because... They are, you know, we Filipinos, in a way, still have the colonial mentality. We have the colonial mm-hmm. mentality. For 350 years, we were under the Spanish rule. So for mm-hmm. us, white is good. Dark skin is not. And so for us, African Americans, black people, are lower than us. They're inferior. So they, they deal, they, they are in, in, in sync with the racism, the racist attitude of President Trump. And that, uh, that's one. Number two, for the Republican Filipinos who still have not left him, be- they have become Republicans because for peace, to be a Republican means you have become an achiever. You have success in life. So many doctors, Filipinos, who have reached you know, a certain level of economic uh, uh, status, upper middle class, they are Republicans. And because they're Republicans, they stay Republicans regardless of a president who claim he is a Republican but is really against all principles of the Republican Party. In fact, George Bush and Texas and all his people in Texas are voting for Biden because this president is not true to the Republican ideals of equality, of justice. In fact, the American ideals of justice for all, equality for all, equal opportunity for all. That's all not, that's all the, the democratic beliefs and also the Republican Party. But Trump is a traitor to that fundamental belief of the American people. Lloyd, is not on record mm-hmm. that former President Bush is uh, voting for Joe mm-hmm. Biden? Yes, that's why we are hoping that Texas will turn blue. Many Filipinos mm-hmm. or AAPI have increased their registration to vote in Texas. So watch Texas, because if they win, if Biden wins in Texas, tapos ng kwento. Why? Mm-hmm. Because there is no absentee voting in Texas. Right. The Republican legislature said, no absentee voting, because if it's absentee, maraming Democrats ang boboto ng absentee ballot. So you vote either ahead of November 3, and on November 3, when they count the ballots, tapos ng kwento. Whoever wins the 38 votes of, 38 electoral votes electoral of Texas, votes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. electoral votes, 38, will win. Will win the, the, uh, will win the presidency. So, bantayan nyo ang Texas. Yes. Okay. Uh, Lloyd, okay. bakit sinasabi, I'm sorry, Jesse, bakit sinasabi ni President Trump na fraudulent itong mail-in voting? Para oh, maliwanagan yes. lamang kami. I want to know about uh, that, yes. Why, why, why does oh. he say that? Because he wants to put into the mind of the people na mag, pag natalo siya, dinaya siya. But really, there is no basis. If you've checked the facts, go to the internet. What kind of mail fraud has been, uh, has been in the news in the United States, in all the 50 states of the United States, 
saan, where has it happened that there was mail fraud so that the person elected should really not have been elected? Zero. Mm. Zero. He has no basis for saying that. Okay, uh, because he has repeatedly, you know, said that. Uh, did he? Didn't he vote uh, via mail? Yes, exactly. Thank you. Uh -huh. He voted by mail in Florida <laughs> because he in moved Florida, from right. New York to Florida. Masyado. So he yeah. voted by mail. So it's Maria Osep. He is an endless liar. So I call him the liar in chief. <laughs> Tito Boy, meron dito ang ano? Many okay. um, between Rostia, hi between. Many Filipinos are sadly obsessed with becoming white, just like what you just mentioned earlier, Miss Lorda. Just look at the billionaire dollar skin white, uh, billion dollar skin whitening industry in the Philippines. What, what what's your stand about it? Unfortunately, in the totoo yan, totoo yan, totoo yan because. The colonial mentality, white is good, dark is not good. Kayo maging kaligatan, no, no. Pero ito'y dahan-dahan naman why, na nilalabanan. Ito'y dahan-dahan na nilalabanan natin. In, 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 colonial mentality is still very much around. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. it's too bad. It's, it's, it's very, it's, it's, not, it's not easy to undo, as Loida would say, uh, uh, centuries of uh, colonization. Pero exactly. in fairness naman sa ating mga Pinoy, I mean, I just want to be fair also. Mm -hmm. uh, ito'y dahan-dahan na nilalabanan, uh, kahit in terms of yung pamantayan mm -hmm. ng ganda, halimbawa. Uh -huh. um, dati talaga uh, may monopoly yung mga mistiza. Ngayon, hindi na. Hindi na. Uh, Tata. May, may, may mga, marami na. Diba? I, I think... Uh, uh, from the time of Gloria Diaz to Pia Wurzbach, for example. Mm -hmm, <laughs> Doon na tayo sa, mm -hmm. sa mga pagandahan ay lumalabas na yung kayumangge, yung morena uh, na malapit doon sa ating imahe uh, bago pa man dumating ang mga Espanyol. Yes, Jesse, you have any other question from Ms. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I do have a question. Um, uh, um, I just want to know your stand about this. Um, kasi sinasabi, uh, ako ang, ang feeling ko lang dito, uh, um, most Filipinos ay... No, wala. But ganon mas okay. Dapat ako nagtatanong. No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It's pero pero alam mo gusto ko yung may isang tanong dito si ano Vivian R Velasco. No. So, yeah, actually, okay. Ko ko sige later. Mamaya na lang pag ano pagpasok ni ano. Okay. Okay. Lord, are you can hear us? Okay, she will be back now. You were saying Jesse, uh, yeah, there. Uh, yes, Lord, you may say no plan. Any moment now. Yes. Okay, which is no, actually, ano, Tito Boy, um, ano rin to, eh, question ko din yan sa'yo, eh, kasi, um, ang take ko dito, uh, paano ba, paano ba yung tamang question dito? Uh, kasi dito sa, sa, di ba ang Filipino, we were raised na parang, um, kung sino ang hero, kung sino yung matapang, then that's who we need to go for. That's a leader that we're looking for. And maybe the one, that's one of the reason why, you know, like, Filipinos voted for ERAP, for Duterte. It's because they speak their mind, especially Mr. Du uh, President Duterte. Well, in the U.S. as well, ang ginawa kasi ni, um, ang feeling ko, ha, yung mindset ng mga Filipinos dito, hindi lang Filipinos, and all over the world, and all over the U.S., ginawa niyang parang pagiging bastol is, bastos is cool. Like being arrogant, being, being um, uh, boastful is cool. So gusto ko malaman yung take doon ni Miss Loida. And I want to I want to ask your opinion as well. No, you, you know, that's why we need conversations like this. Yes. Uh, yes see, para yung mga stereotypes sa tatanggal. Exactly. Para, exactly. you know, we give ourselves a chance to get to know our candidates. Hindi lamang mm -hmm. sa Pilipinas, hindi yes. lamang sa America, but around the world. I mean, mm -hmm. Filipinos and uh, other nationalities who may be eavesdropping on this conversation. Mm -hmm. Kaya hindi pwede mawala yung pag-uusap, no matter how different our choices are. Dahil hindi pwede yung type-type lang. Ang pinag-uusapan natin, uh, governance. Ang pinag-uusapan yes. natin ay buhay ng uh, ng citizens of uh, yes. of, of uh, mm -hmm. citizens of various countries. So importante na hinihimay, kinikilates, mm -hmm. kinikilala natin. Hindi lamang yung ay gusto ko ito. Ah. You have yes. to go deeper than what yes. you see yes. because you're talking about leaders. You're talking about people who govern countries. Yes. People who who uh, affect uh, affect uh, destinies. So mm -hmm. kailangan 
mas mas malabi. Hindi lang yung nasabi ng isa or maganda ang forma. Hindi. Kailangan aralin natin. Ako I yun know, yung but, but I wish, pero ako ha, I wish lahat ng tao ganyan mag-isip. Hindi. Hindi ganun. Hindi Kaya, Majority, ito, yes. Mm-hmm. We need conversations like this. Like this, tama ka. one person, we're not saying you vote for a particular person. Hindi. Nasabi mm-hmm. lang natin, pag-isipan mo nang mabuti. Now, uh-huh. you're saying na hindi ganun, uh, hindi, not, not a lot of people think the way we do. Ako, mm-hmm. I'm always hopeful. Mm-hmm. Let's give people a chance. Kasi, um, th- there is there is time. Uh, like for example, kanina pinag-uusapan natin yung voting. Yeah, let's have no excuses. Like you're in America, vote. If you have exactly, to... exactly. Oh, Loida, Loida is back. Yes, Loida is back. Miss Loida. Well, gusto <laughs> ko yung ano, uh, Miss Loida, I was about to ask the question, the, my next question, but um, Lali Amante, hi Lali, um, already uh, raised the question. Sabi niya, Tito Boy, Tito Boy pa nga naka-address. Uh-huh. Who do you think uh-huh. will uh, win, uh, who do you think win, will win in the presidential election and how will it affect the Philippines industry? Yeah, that's a very good question, Lloyda, because I'd like to be able to ask that. Mm-hmm. I, is it safe to assume that a Biden presidency would be better to the Philippines? Yes. And if so, why? Definitely. Because, as you know, President Duterte has really run roughshod over the lives of many Filipinos. And mm-hmm. tra- President Trump, this president liar-in-chief, has approved that when he came to the Philippines. So for me, uh, President Biden is for democracy, is for human rights, is for treating everybody with respect. So for me, a President Biden would be very good for the Philippines because then we will start to live again as Filipinos. Unfortunately, I don't understand why 90% of Filipinos is still approved of Duterte but hopefully by May 2022, it will be President Lenny Robredo. And so now that's for, that's a, for another discussion, Lloyd. Huh? That's for another discussion. That's another election. I know. <laughs> oh my God. 2022. Let's let, let's talk about. Um, no, I, I wanted to. I wanted to go. Uh, I don't want to miss out on Kamala and, uh, and Vice President uh, Pence. Mm-hmm. So America, no, when you vote, Lloyd, you vote for a ticket. You know, pagkakaiba natin sa Pilipinas. Mm-hmm. You, you don't vote separately for a vice president and a president. Mm-hmm. Tama? Yes. yes. Right. Okay. You saw the Tama vice presidential is, debate, uh, Lloyd. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I thought it was more civil uh, between Kamala Harris and uh, uh, Mike Pence. What, what, what your thoughts on the debate, if you saw it, Lloyd? Well, definitely. I was so afraid because the, the, the um, judgment of many Americans is an angry black woman. That's what they told Michelle mm-hmm. Obama. That's what she, they told her mm-hmm. when, when uh, President Obama was running for president. So, but Kamala Harris is African American and Indian of Asian origin from India. The mother is from India. And when she was Jamaican as a father, yeah. Father, mm-hmm. Jamaican. But when she, when she was five years old, the mother and the father separated, they got divorced. And so in a way, Kamala was raised Asian by her Indian mother. The, the mother. And so when mm-hmm. you see her, I mean, there's a smile on her lips, you know? When she disagreed, she would just shake her head. She was very civil. And you can see she can be president. Although I have to be fair also, Mike Pence could be president too. They both exhibited, you know, decent behavior. And for Kamala, after the event, her ratings went up, so she clearly won that debate. See, Jesse, thank mm-hmm. you for saying that because I agree yes. with Lloyd. I yes. think both did very well, but mm-hmm. I noticed uh, uh, Mike Pence as being uh, respectful uh, right after yes, the debate. Very, yes, you also noticed that Kamala could actually stop Mr. Vice President. Yes, I want to, yeah, very you know, authoritative. Yes, that's what I love about her. A woman, it was admirable. Uh, it was lovely to watch, yeah. actually. Uh, two people disagreeing with each other but being civil so it mm-hmm. is possible to actually be to have different opinions and to talk and then you know. exactly exactly yeah I, mean, I, um, I do have a question miss Lloyd. um because uh as i've said i i did uh, you know a few a survey a few survey from you know my friends and my colleagues i just want to know their thoughts so some pe- uh, some of my friends and some of my colleagues um answered this my question was i my question was um so I don't know. The topic was 
about health. They're, they're worried about um, the health of the next president. Who will be the next president? So, I think, feeling ko lang dito, take ko ah. Bakot na naman! <laughs> Takat na naman si Miss Loida. Miss Loida? Yeah, we should be asking our last okay. questions, maybe, Jesse. Yes. Okay, go, go okay. ahead. So, yeah. So, the question... Could, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Back, okay. So, the question dito is... About the health. Is, yes, yung about the health, right? So, the question ko is... Of course, if something happened, let's say Biden will win, right? The Democrats will win. Some, if something happened to him, let's say a year or two from now, which is knock on wood, of course, the next president would be Kamala. Kamala. Question ko is, are we ready? The U.S., you know, the U.S., are we ready for a woman president with color? I hope, Lloyd, I, I, I know, that. exactly. Because I'd like to be able to say the fact that uh, the U.S. had a presidential candidate in Hillary mm -hmm. Clinton, yes, yes. now with a vice presidential candidate, uh, means that America is ready for, I mean, this is the most powerful country in the world. This is the exactly. uh, innovator. This is the, uh, you know, this is the United States of America. Ay, uh, pero diba? dito, boy, madami dito, madami Ay, dito. Oh, Talagang as in, they were like against, of course, First, it's a woman. Second, pa is women with with color. Kaya kasi sabi ko, krabi until now, no. You would think oh, that uh, yeah. racism doesn't exist anymore. No, it's still there. But it's but, still but the, here. Changing, yes. Jesse. Yes. Oh, definitely. Changing. Oh, we have a we have candidates already. Mm -hmm. Look, uh, you have same sex marriage in America now. <laughs> exactly. You know, uh, uh, the the formally we consider the LGBT movement have started in New York at the wall at the uh, Stonewall uh, Inn uh, in Christopher Street. Yes. So, marami ng bagay ang nababago. And um, yeah, I, let's see. Loida, uh, Jesse has a very Loida can you hear us. Yes. Loida. Yes. Yeah, because it's a very interesting question about are we ready for uh, in the event that. Uh, Kamala succeeds in any way, for example, yes. ang, ang tanong nga dyan, Jesse, in any way, succeeds President Biden, for example, in the next elections or he mm -hmm. gets incapacitated, you know, is America ready, sabi ni Jesse, for a black woman when president? President, yeah. She is very able. Kamala Harris yeah. is very able. You mm -hmm. can see that she was able to become the first African attorney general in the state of California, the most populous state in the United States. And she went against the big banks. She can go against established self-interest, vested interest. So she mm -hmm. would be a very good president just in case Joe Biden decides that he has enough <clears throat> for four years. He has established back America on its road to progress again. And so when she runs and she's elected, when she runs for president in 2024 and she's elected, she, she can very well handle being present as a black woman, as an Asian woman, and as a woman. Yeah. Uh, sinasabi nila, bakit daw Asian? Uh, just to clarify po ito, India is in East Asia. Yes. So <laughs> we, we say she is Asian. Para klaro yes. lamang po. Mm -hmm. Alam mo, Jesse, napapag-usapan yung succession, uh, mm -hmm. lalo na sa mga debate sa Amerika, because uh, of the non-transparency stance of President Trump about his health. Kasi inaantay mm -hmm. ng Amerika yung report, halimbawa, doon sa Walter Reed Hospital. Ano ba talagang nangyari? Anong status? Yes, exactly. ano ang, you know, because the public has a right to know. To know. It is our basic mm -hmm. right to know the health of our leaders in a democratic setup, in whatever setup it is. But we, we ought to know. Kaya lumabas yung usapin na ganyan. Tama ba ko, Loida, yung transparency mm -hmm. about the health of the president? We're trying to come back. Oh, pero na na yung uh, succession na yun because mm -hmm. uh, apparently President Trump was not very uh, transparent about uh, his um, medical status in uh, Walter Reed Hospital. People, I, because I was watching Fox, I was watching CNN, I was watching television, and you know, people wanted to know. Ano ba ang nangyayari talaga? Why is he out after two days? Is he mm -hmm. well? Is he okay? Exactly, exactly. Uh, what did he take? Uh, Etc. How bad was it? How how Is he hiding something? It? Yes. Oh, Totoo yeah. yan. Ay, alam mo so, dito boy, since bumabalik pa ha, meron akong gustong erase dito. Ang ganda-ganda nung ano, naalala mo yung tanong nung bata, 
yung yeah. eight year old na si Brooklyn oh, um what's true. her name Brooklyn Brown no ang ganda ganda ng question niya for an eighth grader ha mm-hmm. ang ganda nung ano ba yung eh, tiga, I think I wrote it here no it, it was basically about basically, yeah. uh, having uh, nakikita daw niya nag-aaway away ang mga nag-aaway, tao nag-aaway yes exactly so are you back Miss Loida okay we're just waiting for Miss Loida we will be asking our yes Loida yes yes our, yes uh, the question was about the transparency mhm yeah W- would you like to comment about it? Uh, Trump not being very transparent about his exactly. medical battles in Puerto Rico? Go ahead. Right. He, again, he has broken, again, he has broken tradition because every president comes out with their medical, um, their medical status. What are they in terms of health? And the American people are entitled to know whether mm-hmm. they are in good health or in bad health. So that right. we can understand their actions, but President Trump continuously violates and breaks tradition. He breaks the Ten Commandments. He breaks the Constitution. He breaks the, the rule of law. That's why he should be taken out and not voted for another four years. God help us. <laughs> okay. Yes, I mean, just, but it will not happen. Uh, it will be George. Okay. okay. Lloyd, okay. just to, uh, just, uh, to close this roundtable conversation, mm-hmm. Jesse is raising this question, actually uh, using uh, the same letter, more or less, the thought of the letter of a young girl yes. who posed the question to both vice presidential candidates, uh, Kamala Harris and Mike Pence. Go ahead, Jesse. Um, the question was, and no, actually, it's not a question. It's more on like, we, I want to hear your thoughts about it. It was a uh, comment. Of the girl, the yeah. comment of the little girl, uh, which is an eighth grader, Miss Loida. Ang hero. Grabe, no? Napakaganda nun. Dahil sabi nga ni Susan Page, the moderator of the vice presidential debate, mm-hmm. instead of ending the debate of the vice presidential hopefuls, ay kumuha sila ng... Uh, Randomly yata eh. Randomly, diba? yes. Ang ganda, yes. at tapiling nila yung yes. bata. Ito may, may question ako. What about mm-hmm. sa Pilipinas ha? I mean, mm-hmm. uh, let's, let's, so, mm-hmm. ano naman, like sway naman sa kabila. Ah. While waiting for Loida. Uh, uh, oh, ayan na. Yeah. While waiting for Ms. Loida, yeah. Um, do you guys have like a, because the, the, the vice presidential uh, debate we do. was. We do debate. Yes, we do. We do, do, you do uh, we do, but not like yours because we have more candidates. You have the, the Republican and the Democratic candidates. Sometimes okay. you have independent candidates. So it, it look, it, the look is different. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in, in the Philippines, remember when President Duterte ran, there were how many candidates? Of like five uh, presidential. Lloyd, are you back? Yes. Okay, there I I, I see. I'm yes, Lloyd. Yes, we Jess's question has yes. uh, this is our last question. Yes. Wow. Okay. Um, oh, my. Ninochka yes, Roska, uh, can we go back? Uh, oh, sure. TV, please. Uh, Ninochka says the USA won't survive another four years of Trump. Thank you, uh, Ninochka. <laughs> um, she is an acclaimed you, author. Oh, yeah. uh, she is an acclaimed, yeah. Filipino author. Yes, right. we, we were That's saying, right. um, mm-hmm. Loida, that uh, they chose a comment from a young girl who said yes. that she watches television, nakikita niya, mm-hmm. uh, disagreements between people, etc. And then, ang pagtatapos niya, wh- wh- what, uh, what was the question, Jesse? Parang, the question is, um, our leaders can't get along. How are the citizens supposed to get along? Yeah. So your example could make all difference. Uh, That's uh, correct. Yes, yes. That was okay. the question. Your, yes. your thoughts, Loida? Yes. A leader is very important. But Joe Biden has shown during his entire 45 years of public service, when he was a senator, elected senator at 29, for the next 35 years, he can get the Senate to work together. And that's why during the time of President Obama, he worked on the passage of the Obamacare, on the passage of the uh, financial $80 billion help to the ailing industries because we were very close to a depression. And and Joe Biden is well-liked, even by Lindsey Graham, the Republican uh, Hmm. senator. He can work together. So we have to elect him as president to bring the people together because, as he says, he will not be president only of the Democratic Party, 
he will be the president of the American Party of the United of States. Of American America. people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Loida, we'll give you a so, chance to address yung ating mga kababayan. If you vote, yes. if you uh, yung ating yes. mga kababayan, lalo na mga batang, American, uh, Filipino Americans. Yes, mga millennials. Yes. Sa yes. atin ngayon. Um, would you like to address them? Would you like to uh, deliver your message for them? Uh, Loida, please. Yes. Regardless of how you will vote, please register and vote. Vote. Vote early, but vote. Vote. Um, Tito Boy, yeah, uh, 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 Miss Loida, Miss Loida, can I have? Uh, can I? I just one important question that I'm just I'm really really curious. Go ahead. Just, if if the Democrat, if, yeah, last last that though. If the Democrat will be elected, right? Let's say, sila na nalo, November third, right? What is the first thing? The first thing that they will do? Well, first deal with the pandemic. Okay, mandatory face mask, then deal with the econ economy, pass the three trillion or whatever trillion dollars is needed. Number three, pass the immigration. We have to have a reformed immigration and give mm -hmm. amnesty to those who have been here for at least 10 years. And number five, gun control. We should have... Um, reasonable gun control and number six climate change we have to go back to the paris treaty together with the rest of the civilized nation so all of those five he will act on in the first 100 days okay loida isang pahabo lang i i love that question about the world war ii veterans para naman balance ang ating pag-uusap yes can we have that back uh jay uh jay there from mm -hmm. between russia vice president biden worked on passing the Obama stimulus package that included long overdue payments to Filipinos. Ah, okay. This is a comment. World War II veterans. I, mm -hmm. I thought it was a question. Yes. Uh, this is true, Loida, right? Uh, about our World War II veterans. That, since 1946, the Filipino World War veterans, 240 who fought against the Japanese, was taken out of the benefits. Mm -hmm. They were taken out of the benefits, and it was only President Obama, with President Vice President Biden, that the veterans were given some relief, twenty-five thousand to those veterans in the United States, and fifteen thousand dollars to the veterans living in the Philippines. That's Joe Biden. Okay. Loida, maraming salamat for your time and thank you for this uh, spirited discussion about... I know. Uh, Ang dami natin natutunan. Grabe. Maraming salamat, Loida, and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Maraming salamat, Miss Loida. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat. Miss Loida? All right. Uh -oh. She said, thank you. Ang hirap, no? Thank you. What a pleasure, what an honor it has been for us to do a conversation with. Yes, the one and the only Loida Nicholas Lewis. Thank you. Bye bye, Loida. Bye, Miss Loida. Okay, so uh, despite technical problems, I mm -hmm. think um, what a woman, what a lady. I mean, I love. Uh, Alam mo dito, boy, may nakalimutan na kung tanong sa kanya, uh -huh. which is ikaw na nga lang sumagot. Kasi kanina, uh -huh. I mean, I was trying to gather my thoughts, pero nawala sa isip ko. Like, why do you think Miss Loida is doing this? Why so is she believe, supporting? Uh, yeah, like, like. She believes in what she's doing, diba? Okay. Like, yung question dito is parang, sige, mag-iisip ako parang Trump. Um, what do you gain from it? Like, why? what do you think she will gain from it? Kasi she's she's known as a, the best, one of the best, um, of course, the most power, powerful woman in the U.S. Um, she's known as the best, one of the best philanthropists, right? So, I mean, and we all know that she's, you know, she has, I mean, uh, in her bank. <laughs> She has means, right? She has means and she has like um, okay. a lot of um, businesses all over the world. So, may nagtatanong nga sa akin eh, Jesse, why can't she just like enjoy, you know, in, enjoy her wealth, just travel and just, you know, just mind her, her own business. So, why do you think she's doing this? Yeah, well, this is speculative. We should have asked her. But, you know, Jesse, know. 
that's the common way to think, di ba? Mm-hmm. I mean, she can yes. afford to actually just sit back, watch these things happen, enjoy life. I mean, she can't do that. I mean, yes. she may just decide to do that. Uh, we don't yes. know. But uh, guys, it is also possible for a person to do good for the country. Exactly, it is exactly. Possible. Because simply because we do not think the way she does, does not make her valid. Exactly. May mga ganun eh. Parang, yes. ano pa ba? Ba't ka pa nakikipaglaban? Exactly. Eh, hindi naman kailangan ito. But it is possible also that the lady uh, means, kasi the easy answer to that is, well, you know, she has business interests and she has friends. Exactly. Yeah, well people. Yes. And she may be protecting interests, etc. Mm-hmm. I mean, any answer will, you know, you can come up with any answer. But the point is, it is also possible that she wants to do it for country. It is. Exactly. It but is she just possible. want to make the world beautiful. Yeah. Meron uh, ganun. May, may ganun tao pala, way, no? It is, your, yeah. And it is also your way of giving back. You know, exactly. America has been good mm-hmm. to her. America has been good to her as a citizen. Exactly. This is a guess, but I'm sure she wants to give back. Tama ka dun. There are people, there are people who just want this world to be a better place. Exactly. It is possible. It is possible. Like and you know, Jesse, fundamentally, Yun ang politics. Mm-hmm. Yun ang politics. That's what it means. The business of the police, of the city. Uh, you know, you're talking about uh, the, the, the business of the people. Mm-hmm. What is good for the people. That's what government is all about. That's what politics is all about. But, 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 I have another question for you. Mm. Oh my. Ang daldal ko talaga pa sensa na ha. I mean, ganito ako. Imagine mo, wala pa akong wine ha. The boy, question. What about because, I mean, you've done it all, right? Like everybody mm-hmm. knows that that mm-hmm. you're a very smart person, you're intelligent. When you speak, everybody listens. Since you already have that trait, you don't have any plans of, you know, entering the politics. I've been asked that many times. Um, mm-hmm. Jesse, lalo na sa amin, yung mga taga-Samar, marami tayong kaibigan sa New York at yes. Jersey, na yes. aking mga kababayan sa Borongan, Eastern Samar. Ako lamang, uh, sa aming pamilya, hindi pumasok sa politika. My mother was a public school teacher who eventually got into politics. My tatay mm-hmm. was a small town politician. My sister was a three-term mayor of Borongan City. She was vice mayor before that. Now she is uh, currently the congresswoman of the Lone District of Eastern Samar. So, wow. lahat kami sa aming pamilya ay nasa politika. I am oh. not a shy person. Uh, the answer to that is I don't have fire in my belly for politics. Not yet anyway. But it is not a habit to close doors. I am open. Hindi ko alam kung kailan, pero maaring mangyari, maaari hindi. But right now, if you ask me, I'm not just interested. My passion mm-hmm. is in uh, the arts, in uh, in talk shows, in exactly. <laughs> conversations. But we all evolve. We all yes. become somebody at a mm-hmm. certain point in our lives. So if, if that knocks and I have uh, fire... And if I have passion, I mean, I will be open. Nobody would have imagined, sabi ko just in our interviews in the past, mm-hmm. I would not have thought that I would do television one day in my life. It exactly. So exactly. God has a bigger plan for all of us. We just have to keep on accepting. Pero and, malay mo, dito boy, ha? Huh? Yeah, malay mo. I'm sure... <laughs> go for Senate. Go for, oh my God, landslide, Tito Boy, landslide. And, uh, so far, not now. I'm happy where I am. And mm-hmm. my passion is in doing interviews and talk shows. And mm-hmm. I'm happy as there. I'm happy as there. Tito Boy, question. Um, what about yung mga ano? Um, can, I'm not so sure. Ah, cause, can dual citizen, because I'm a dual citizen. I choose to be a dual citizen. Um, on um, 2022, right? The, the election. Uh, it's not just presidential, right? It's... Uh, Presidential, mm. Senate. Senate, right? Um, as it's a called dual... presidential elections, but oh, okay. it's a Senate, it's a Congress, it has, it's oh, a so local the... election. Oh, okay, okay. Elections. Okay, um, can dual citizen like myself um, a vote? Naku, yan ang hindi ko alam ang detalye. Yun na nga Pero, eh, no? Um, Kasi I was... Is, my guess is yes, but I don't think you can vote. I, I don't know, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I think some lawyers are watching us right now. I... I really don't know about voting. Pero sa karanasan ko, may mga kaibigan ako na bumoboto sa atin. Mm-hmm, I don't mm-hmm. know. Totoo. Sa atin si Ate Pilar, oo. Yes, nangangampanya. Dito ba, I promise, if you will, dito ba, if you will, 
uuwi uh-huh. talaga ako uh, as in <laughs> nako I, I promise <laughs> uh, but I go back to Lloyd oh, I, I just want to say that mga kaibigan this is the first edition of uh, the Roundtable Conversations yes. and I'm hoping Jesse that the next episodes you have would feature not, not just you know uh, philanthropists like uh, Lloyd but mm-hmm. you can probably do interviews with fashion designers with uh, <gasps> Yes, my God, fashion uh, designer, my God. To trace the roots to the Philippines. That would really be interesting. Be, oh, my God, Tito Boy. So, uh, bro, let's, let's, a lot let's of say people. It so that it happens. Oh, yes. Yun yung dahilan kung bakit natin ginawa yung roundtable round conversation. Round table conversation. <laughs> Tito Boy, last uh, question. I know that, ano na, what's going on? Nuklak na patutulog. <laughs> I'm just curious, Tito Boy. Um, uh, Gali na natin yung, ano, yung Republican, Dem- Democrat, or... Dito sa US, let's say may mm. Democrat and Republican in the Philippines. Mm. What is your ideal president? I'm just uh, wondering. I just want to know your thoughts. Uh, I, I know, no, no. What is your ideal nuanced, the president? It's a very nuanced uh, question, which um, needs a nuanced answer. It's not a black or, or white. You know, alam mo, Jesse, the great Nelson Mandela, when he was alive, talked about uh, governance politics. And somebody asked him that. Yes or no, black or white. Sabi niya, ang politika, uh, ang leadership, and uh, not leadership, uh, ang politics is not a matter of black and white. It's nuanced. You have to understand uh, ano yung panahon uh, na naging presidente ito. So when you talk about ideals, that's very difficult to define because you have to you have to look at leaders against you know a backdrop of uh, the times. Anong nangyayari? Katulad halimbawa, uh, katulad halimbawa, Sino naman ang makakapagsabi sa atin na mangyayari itong COVID? Exactly. So, around the world, yes. dito natin ngayon mababasa, ihuhusgahan ang ating liderato kung paano mm-hmm. sila kapilos yes. uh, sa pandemyang ito. Y- y- yun, exactly. di ba? Exactly. And when, long time from now, years from now, decades from now, we will look back and say, hey, uh, Jair Bolsonaro of Brazil did it this way. I agreed with him. Yung, di ba? Pag yes, yes. Tayo, and we already mm-hmm. talked about the lessons we learned, not mm-hmm. just from our government, from governments around the country, uh, around the world. But um, I, I look forward. Nice one, Jess and Tito Boy. Amazing episode. Yes. Thank you, Ren. Oh, maraming salamat. Maraming, maraming salamat. My God, Tito Boy. <laughs> Alam mo, Tito Boy? My God, yes. I'm so excited sa next, nako, next episode natin ng special Correct. edition ng Roundtable Conversations. And let's thank Front Row, RS Francisco, again. Thank you, Front Row. Thank you. I was with them a couple of days ago. Front Row, mga kaibigan, made this possible. My participation with uh, on J- uh, Jess's show. Yes. Maraming maraming salamat, RS, and the Front Row family. Thank Maraming you very much. Thank yeah. you so much. My God. Dito boy, last message nga sa, sa lahat ng nanonood sa Amerika about, of course, about, you know, they need to vote. Please, we want to hear your, your thoughts about it. Ako, like, simply Jesse. lang, Jesse, it's mm-hmm. a fundamental right. Tama mm-hmm. yung sinabi ni Loyla, kahit sinong iboboto mo, exercise that right. Kasi marami exactly. ang namatay, maraming mm-hmm. buhay ang ipinuwis para lamang magkaroon tayo ng karapatan bumoto. Remember this, I'll say it mm-hmm. again. You know, we lost lives. People fought for this right. Mm-hmm. You know, um, people exactly. fought hard for the right to vote of the individual. So it is there now. It is a fundamental right. It is a powerful gesture that exactly. each citizen has in every country. So I go back to what Lloyd said. Whoever you are, whether you're Republican or Democrat, or Democrat. whether you're voting for anybody, just go out and vote. Vote early and vote wisely. Yes, I was okay. about to say that. That vote yeah. wisely, because this is Tama. this is the soul of the U.S., de ba? Lahat to right. magbab, right. lahat ng gina mangyayari sa future is ba magbabase doon sa presidente na iboboto natin. My God, parang isa lamat sabi ni Ati Pilaro. Nako. Thank you thank so you. much, guys. Maraming maraming salamat po for tuning in. Mariam, thank yes. you. Yes. Oh, thank you. Tito Boy, yan yung next ano natin na yung of next roundtable conversation. We will be in touch. Yes, so all thank of you who eavesdropped on this conversation, yes. maraming maraming salamat. Jessica. Maraming maraming salamat po. At abangan nyo po ang mga susunod na episode namin for over a glass or two and yung roundtable conversations namin. Nako, mas maingay pa kami dito, boy, for sure. <laughs> Ngayon, behave eh. Kasi Miss Lloyd Nicolas, di ba? Luis eh. Maraming maraming salamat po. At um, I know it's 1 a.m. in the Philippines. I hope like <laughs> sa mga taong um merong kasi Tito Boy marami sa Pilipinas, 'di ba? Nakatira diyan, pero they're they're US citizen. 
So please, um, please yeah, vote yeah. as well. So right. just watch this again. Sa replay. I mean, you can watch it anytime. Um, and sa lahat ng mga Filipino po na 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 nasa, nasa US, please, please think twice. Kung sino ba boto nyo? Hindi namin. We're not um convincing everyone to you know like um to vote for Democrat or 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 Republican. Just, just please vote. Just, you know, tama ka nga eh. Right natin to. And this is the soul of the US. So kung mahal na mahal nyo ang future kids nyo, this is the right time to do it. This is ano, ano natin to. Ito yung karapatan natin. ba uh-huh. Na bumoto. Maraming salamat. And what an with, honor yes. to have Lloyd and Nicholas Lewis as yes. our first guest on the yes. Roundtable yes. Conversation. Thank you, Jesse. Thank, Thank you. Jamie. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night, Tita Boy. Love you. Love you. Good night. Thank Bye, Miss Louie.